Everyone, is Master Wong here? Every one of you ask me about some more conditioning stuff. I would, Dr. John here, we're gonna do some little arm conditioning here and we can have dance. So let's start. So let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was just doing it. was hurting, man. What was I doing? Subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the bell. When I upload a video, you will get the notification straight to your mobile. Now get back to your training. Okay, so this basic conditioning is for the arm to get your body strong and stuff like that. Now Dr. John is a specialized in that kind of area, which not specialized, but it's conditioning. So tell me a bit about why we condition our arm like this. So knowing the technique is not enough. So if, when you're practicing your forms, if, if you throw a punch in my face, huh, okay. Now, what if he's got a really strong punch? That's gonna come straight through and catch me. So if I condition my arm, then he can open it more absolutely better to able to attack and break in the fist. So if what about people haven't got this to dealing with and they got the same kind of thing at home and nobody, so how are they gonna able to using this kind of thing to help them then? Now with a tree, because there's bark, it's actually quite uncomfortable. However, what you can do is put some like a yoga mat around it, but because we don't have one, you can still just keep light. And it's not just with the forearms. You can do it with the legs, you can do it with the hands. With the fist, you want to be careful with the knuckles. So I never want to get too close, otherwise I might break my knuckles. However, if I get start to stand about here, you can start hardening it up. Some people do knuckle press-ups as well, which is great, but conditioning is important because you need to be tough enough to be able to take an, to, to be able to take an attack when, 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 when this, this kind of came in, you go Ooh, yeah. easier to do that and if the hook comes this side, you can easier to do that. Another thing to understand is you can see the big size and small size. So let me bring in one of my friends here. Roger! He's bodybuilding. You see some of him already, yeah? You see, the, see his arm? You see his arm here? It got them big. That's so it. yeah, see like all the big arms. So look at me, I'm skinny, small. So let me just go through some, some, some condition with him. So they let him have a feel. Because have, have you done any condition before? No, I haven't. Okay, Never. you haven't. Never. So let me go through with this so they can see the idea, yeah? So now if I go to, so I teach you one, two, three, like this, okay? okay? One, two, three. And then again, okay, harder. Shit. A little bit harder. <laughs> a little bit harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one more, one more. Boom, boom. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh. How, 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 how does that feel? When, if, if you're gonna come mm. in with people like me and you're, you know you're gonna, look at the size. Mm. Okay? It's similar look, size yes. right there. So it's, look at the small, it's like, look at that, look at this. They're all small size. Mm. So mm. you can see how you feel that if you come across with a combat size and somebody got strong arm and your big arm like this and one hit coming, can you able to take it? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to take it. You nah. won't. I definitely need a bit more conditioning work before I decide to do any kind of combat stuff. That's for sure. So, so literally for the big guy, if you do body for many years now, uh -huh, big like uh -huh. this, you think can there, every one of them got the same problem or is there some got I don't better? know. If, if you have maybe a martial arts background or yeah. something, then you might be... Better condition. Yeah, better condition condition for that. But okay. yeah, I've never done this. Cool. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> hey, no now worries. let me bother you. <laughs> Friend of mine here, he do martial for year. And let's have a go and see if he really can really do it. So they go like here for the arm because this keeps your arm a little bit strong. Okay. A little bit harder. Whoa. That's quite... Intense. Oh, <laughs> Intense. Oh, no. Intense. <laughs> come, come back here. Wow. Okay. Now, <laughs> you do martial for a long time, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you conditioned your arm, though? We know what we do basically in Shotokan Karate. Yeah. We do a lot of blocking. Blocking. So the outer blocking. Yeah. And like we this do, one. No, we do so we punch straight. Yeah. We do this inside block. Inside blocking. Yeah. And okay. So we punch down here. We do the outside block. Right. So it does kind of condition your arms, but not to the extent where we actually go full on. Right. We do pretty much medium speed, not. Hard, hard like, like this one is poof. It's too hard. Uh, it's too hard. Okay. So really, so, really mm. truly, I need to actually condition it. Condition so that's what you need to see Dr. John. Yes. Okay, you can have Definitely. a finish now. Yeah. So Dr. Do, 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 do John, come back for a second. So now you can understand in the idea, we doing, uh, you do Chinese martial and all different martial, yeah? So conditioning, you do using all the time. So this is the thing. When you do Chinese martial and everything else, everything you're doing is need conditioning, get your body strong, get everything in line before somebody gonna punch you, you're gonna break them up. Anything you wanna cut up? So yeah, another one that you can do is with the hands, so it's like palms. Yeah. So this way. Oh, this okay, way. like this. So for the, uh, for what, for the positioning or your, your wrist? Okay, so, so if I'm gonna hit them here yeah. here. Okay, so we go, go like this. So the idea of this particular movement here, 
You see, it's a lot of hitting to make sure you're conditioning, you're conditioning this part better when you start to palm somebody. If you punch like this and you're not strong enough and you're breaking your hand, no more titty for you. So this is the problem. So if you go like this on it, more like for the jaw, attacking the jaw, okay, some more jaw like that, okay. So that's good. Now, me and, and uh, Dr. John here will do a lot of conditions, stuff video for you not to asking anything down here underneath here. Ask me, I got all the detail down here to helping you. So if you don't like this kind of thing here, then tell me, I will help you to understand it more and make sure to subscribe before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy condition so good, you're gonna put your goddamn on, then you got no more hand to play with your woman. Out. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the bell. When I upload a video, you will get the notification straight to your mobile. Now get back to your training.